this little stretch of road on the way to Utah like totally makes me think or imagine that this is like what Afghanistan looks like. I don't know. Anybody who's ever been to Afghanistan? Uh, is there any members of the Fam Damnation, anybody watching this that have served in Afghanistan that know? Like, does it look? Is there parts that look like this? I don't know. I guess it's really foggy and snowy up there. Maybe it's... I just imagine Afghanistan being more dry. I don't know. I, I know it's not like Iraq. It's not like a desert. Anyway! This isn't a video about Afghanistan. <laughs> I am on the road right now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be on time or if I'm going to be late or not, but that's the way it goes. I have a meeting down in Logan, Utah tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, where I am going to be an assistant producer on a film project. So... Um, I've known about this for a little while. There is a film producer down based out of Utah who, through this kind of bizarre connection and through Ginger and Facebook and YouTube and all this and that. Anyways, he is a film producer down in Utah. He's made movies. Uh, he's in the film industry. He produces and directs. Uh, movies down in uh, like independent films and movies down in Utah. Is this shaking a lot? I'm going to try and set the camera. Anyway, uh, a while back he contacted me uh, just through because of YouTube and me making videos and being interested in the film industry and acting and all of that kind of stuff. He contacted me through Facebook. We are friends on Facebook now. And he uh, invited me to come and be a part of this film project. And it's kind of a testing the waters, I think, with me and with other people that are wanting to get in the film industry because it's not like a big actual film project where he's making a movie. It's not anything like that. But I'm still like super pumped about this, like really excited about this opportunity. Um, what it is, is there's a contest that they have in Utah called the 48 Hour Film Festival. And what you do is you get together and you build your team of actors, directors, sound people, editors, producers, all that stuff. And you show up on the first day and then the people that are in charge of the contest, they give you like a piece of a script or like, this is my understanding of it, I really don't know exactly how it's all going to go down, but they give you like a line that you have to say like, that dog looks hungry or I don't know, something dumb like that. Then they give you a genre like comedy, action, thriller, horror, romance, they assign you one, like it's randomly, you get assigned a genre of what film you're going to have to do. And then they give you one prop, like an actual prop that you have to use um, in the production. And then when they say go, after you're given all your stuff, you literally have 48 hours once the clock starts ticking. Your team has 48 hours to write a script, come up with a story, write a script, pick your actors, uh, find your sets where you want to film, and get your camera crews and all of your equipment, and you actually go and you film this movie, and you have to have it filmed, acted, completed, and everything in the, the 48 hour time period, and then it has to be edited, rendered, and completed into like a final production with all within 48 hours. So basically you go uh, two full days without any sleep or anything. You're just like working your guts out to get this video done. And then you submit your film. And I, from what I understand, everybody gets together and everybody watches these films and what everybody came up with. And then 
there's a winner or there's like awards that are granted. So it's, I, I don't know what happens with the winner, like if the winning video goes to like Sundance Film Festival or if it just stays there, I have no idea. But anyways, he contacted me and he told me, the, the guy who's, uh, I don't want to say his name yet because I haven't, I haven't met him in person, I don't know how he feels about that, like if he wants me saying his name or whatever, so. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the filming is going to happen in the middle of next month, about a month from now, and we're just having a meeting tonight, but anyway, he contacted me through Facebook and just said, whatever you want to do on my team, you just pick what you want to do and come down and you can be a part of the team. So I was really excited about it. So I looked at it and I decided that, you know, I, I really want to act, like I really want to be part of the cast, but I think it's better for me at this stage to get familiar with the process if I'm an assistant producer instead of, see, because I don't want to say, oh, I want to be an editor, I want to edit the film, uh, because I'm not sure what his editing equipment and software is going to be like and how that's all going to work, uh, quality and, and all of that. So I'm a little bit skeptical about my abilities at this point to do something like that, like be put over sound or to be a cameraman, like, if I showed up and all I had was, like, my flip cam, he'd be like, what? <laughs> you know, this is good enough. So I decided I was going to go for assistant producer. That way I can basically uh, do what he tells me to as the main producer of the short film and learn the ropes and learn how everything works, but still be able to give good input and kind of help uh, push the flow of the film and come up with good ideas and all of that stuff. So anyway, and the nice thing about being an assistant producer is if for some reason an actor gets sick or somebody doesn't show up for filming or we have a problem or we need another character for our script, I don't have any problem with going out and like getting in front of the camera and doing some acting. And if there's another project later on, then maybe I'll go for the acting part of it. So I may end up doing both. Who knows? I, I, I don't know. I might end up acting and being an assistant producer. But it's a really cool opportunity for me to go do something that I never in a million years thought I would be able to be a part of, like, uh, a film crew <laughs> doing anything, like, legit at all. And you never know if this goes really well tonight and when we show up and we actually do it and I impress some people or I come up with some really good ideas or I act and I do a really good job of it, then it can open a lot of doors as far as like the next movie that he's making. He may ask me to come help him out with that or to write a script for it or uh, who knows? I, I don't know. I just But the opportunity's there. He invited me, so I'm going to jump on it. That's what life's about. And now, <clears throat> basically, I am just headed down the road to Utah. My batteries are going to go dead again because this thing consumes batteries like crazy. More of me. <laughs> it's actually today. The day that you're watching this is the day that this is being filmed because I drove all the way down to Utah, as you guys know, yesterday and had that meeting and it went really long and then it was like a long, dark drive in the rain and I didn't want to be vlogging and driving in the rain. On my way home. <laughs> Hi, dude. <laughs> so, me and Tulupi are hanging out this morning. Uh, Ginger was super busy yesterday. She she worked till really late, until really late. <laughs> and then she got home and she has... She's a cosmetologist and so she cuts hair. And she... Uh, had people come over and get their hair cut last night. So by the time I got home, she was like passed out, sleeping. The kids were all in bed. She didn't have a chance to film anything. So anyway, it's, this is just one of those vlogs of me going yappity, 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 yappity. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 
<laughs> I was just watching this uh, video by S&P Films entitled Something You Don't Know About Me, and he was talking about, like, phobias, like being afraid of competing and, and then failing. And he was talking about how, I don't know if you guys, have, did you guys, most of you guys probably saw the video where I went to California and ate one of the world's hottest chili peppers with, with S&P Films in one of his videos. Uh, you can go check it out. But anyway, he talked about how he has this fear of like competing against other people and that he'll fail because he, he had a teacher hype him up that he was going to be student of the month. And then while he, he got up during the announcement and the, during the school assembly and started walking up there and then she called out somebody else's name and it just like shattered his ego. It was like this big embarrassing thing for him. Anyway, I was just reminded of when... Hey, don't turn on the dishwasher. Jeez. No, there's nothing in there. Don't. No, no. No, no, no. Go get a toy. Where's your skateboard? These batteries are going to go dead. Anyways, I had a similar thing happen where I had a school teacher that I gave some short stories. I had written some short stories and some scripts. And uh, he took them and was like, oh yeah, I'll read them. That'll be awesome. Hey, you be nice, Mr. Stubborn Bud. Don't do that. <laughs> Here, see, look. They're already clean in there. Don't turn it on. Don't do it. See what I gotta deal with? See? <laughs> You're crazy. Anyway, so I gave him like five short stories and a couple of scripts that I had written. And he looked at me and he was like, Yeah, cool. Good job. You know? And then as I was walking out in the reflection of the door in the glass, this is in high school. I saw the teacher drop all of my stories in the wastebasket before I even left the room. Like, he didn't know that I could see, but I could see in the glass. And he grabbed them, and he went whoosh, right in the garbage. So I've been afraid of, like... Since then, I, I wrote a book. I wrote an entire fantasy novel. And I have not sent it off to an editor and put the money to get it edited. Um, that's part of why this this 48 hour film contest is kind of a big deal for me because I'm going to be helping write the script, maybe act, assistant produce, and then probably edit and help. The batteries went dead. <laughs> I was afraid that was going to happen. Anyway, so I've written an entire novel, uh, like a full length legit novel that's as long as the first Harry Potter book. Uh, I wrote the whole thing and it needs like refined and edited. You want some food? What? I'll make you breakfast in a minute. Honey? You want a piece of gum? Huh? Don't swallow it. Mmm. So I need to get that book published. That's on my big checklist. Even if I self-publish it. Eat it. Yummy, yummy. Is it yummy? <laughs> you want to throw it in the garbage? You little butt. He doesn't like it. Anyway. So yeah, I've had a phobia of having my my writing or my script or like my, my acting. I mean, I've had some really bad like acting moments. Um, so YouTube and all of the stuff that I'm doing is really facing a lot of fears too uh, for me. Kind of facing some of those old rejection issues of my early years. And I probably would be a lot further along in doing what I love to do had people not... Uh, well, I don't know. 
you know, I'd like to say that I'd be a lot further along if people were more supportive, like, but that being said, the fact that they weren't supportive kind of made me mad, and now that I'm older and have the means to prove them wrong, I'm trying to prove them wrong, uh, and kind of do this impossible thing. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. This is a big vlog about me. I was going to post just like some retro footage, some old VHS tape footage of our family from earlier, but I just decided to get on here and talk uh, a little bit more, and the kids should be home. And then tomorrow's vlog will be more of today, and <laughs> it'll all work out. All right, did you decide that you like that gummy gum? Yeah. Come here and say hi. Come here and tell these guys. <laughs> All right, see ya.